Hey, this is Brooke, uh, your friendly guitar teacher. Um, I was going to do some more filming, but I have a growth on my shoulder that... Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I just want to tell you, uh, we, we went to Surf Guitar 101 in Long Beach, California and played last Sunday. We got there Friday. We flew in from Cedar Rapids and... Uh, uh, we stayed um, at the Golden Sales Motel, Hotel, uh, and that's where the convention was, and we saw so many great bands. It was unreal. Uh, if you ever go to that event, you got to see all the bands, because every one of them is astonishing, and you'll feel bad if you miss any of them, <laughs> which I did miss. Uh, I saw... A, quite a bit of the insect surfers and uh, a little bit of the mermen. Um, they were really loud, and I, I'm kind of paranoid about my ears, so I was kind of reluctant to mix it up right there with the crowd. But I later I found a spot I could hang out, and I could get up close, and I saw a lot of the bands real close, and oh my God, they were so good. If you like surf instrumentals or rock and roll, Surf Guitar 101. Um is the festival I would recommend checking out um, Jeff Hansen uh, Tiki Dude uh, the big kahuna I think they call him uh, he's the one that puts it together and he's uh, pretty good at organizing a big event and he did a really good job of bringing in amazing bands um, and I gotta tell you uh, there's some mind-blowing guitar players and drummers and bass players, keyboard players, vocalists, everything. The Boss Martians were one of our favorites. The Nebulas I loved. The Ghastly Ones. I've got my Ghastly Ones shirt. I was kind of afraid to talk to the Nebulas because their masks kind of scared me. Uh, <laughs> ah! The Insect Surfers were right next to our, our merch booth area. Um, I, there was just too many people to talk to, but uh, um, I talked to Chris Sprague a little bit from, he's the Low Straight Jackets drummer. He has a band called The Out of Sights. They were extremely good. Um, oh, I saw the original Surfaris, which is Bob on guitar and his two sons on drums and bass, and his wife, or uh, drums and guitar, and his wife on bass. They were, they were good. And, uh, there was a, a, a jam of kind of famous old-timer, original first wave surf instrumental guys that played. They were, they were good, but you know, they were a little older and uh, they were kind of doing their thing and they were before us and uh, they wanted to stay on stage. So of course our set got cut short because we couldn't get them off stage. They were having so much fun, uh, but they were way cool and uh, you know, they, I guess they were saying how uh, in the first wave of surf instrumentals, it was a real short window, and uh, they were just kind of doing their own thing, trying to keep their own bands together. They were sort of aware of the other bands, but I guess they were just busy doing their own gigs and, you know, trying to keep their, their gig alive. So my band, Surf Zombies, played, and we did really well. So we, you know, being from Iowa... It was kind of humorous that, you know, they're like, "Where, where's Iowa?" Or you know, so uh, like, there's a scene in Iowa. I'm like, uh, we are the scene, pretty much. There's really no surf style bands here in Iowa, other than surf zombies. And we are a really busy working band, so we play constantly, and we uh, we tighten up our arrangements. We're terrified to show up at a gig not being just really well prepared each guy's got to know your own part if you fall apart on stage with surf zombies it's your own fault and you're gonna you know you don't want to let the band down so we are we play so many gigs that we are pretty tight and I think we were able to get up there and really rock man we were pretty pretty together and uh, you know you get on a big stage in a big ballroom playing strange amps and there's really no time for a sound check because we were running late so we had to just get up get up there plug in and go really very little no sound check 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, that's pretty hard. But uh, we were just like, man, there's no way we're going to not bring it. And um, we, we, were, we, we did pretty good, man. So, you know, there was at least 10 people from Iowa there that came all the way out to see us. One guy came from New York. Um, and I guess people had been calling the organizer of the event. And I didn't tell any, anybody to call him. But people called demanding that they book us. And he was kind of irritated with me, and uh, I just thank I thank Jeff for giving us a chance, and uh, you know hopefully we we held our own. I think we did okay, <laughs> but um, you know I think that doing stuff like that, getting outside of your area, go out and play, is really 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 good for a band because it brings the band together tighter. Plus people just from outside of your area get to know you. I mean, we play, we're from Cedar Rapids and Des Moines. We play there a lot. We've got a good fan base, but getting out to other towns, you know, people will, they appreciate you coming to them and they'll show up. So, you know, that's some advice I would, I would have is get out there and, uh, you know, spread it out. But if you're just a practicing guitar player at home, that's important too. You know, to practice at home and enjoy your guitar. I got to tell you, a lot of the things I teach here, I saw these guys playing. They're just the shapes I push. You know, that F and F minor shape or a D shape or an A shape going up the neck. That's really what these guys used. So uh, I think my methods of teaching are uh, paying off if, if you can follow what I'm doing uh, a little bit. I think you'll you'll get to a point where you can hang with a lot of uh, good functional professional guitar players. And uh, a really good thing to do is keep learning songs. That's one of the things, you know, I love to kind of work on fundamentals, but I love to memorize a full, you know, interesting song that I, you know, is a, a little bit challenging. Nothing that's gonna, you know, I try to grow a little bit, but sometimes, uh, the songs are not impossible to play. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I look at YouTube um, tutorials or just play along and pick it out by ear. So I just want to encourage everybody to keep doing what you're doing and keep practicing. And I just wanted to say hi and thanks for all the support uh, on my channel and my band Surf Zombies and uh, buying my book. I do, I'm finally printing the new book I gave him the go ahead just let's make 25 copies and so we'll hopefully have that this week and um, anyway I'm just kind of uh, what do you call it uh, invigorated refreshed and uh, motivated to keep uh, practicing booking gigs teaching guitar making videos and uh, taking care of kitty cats you know <laughs> oh my god so, yeah, when I'm trying to film, this is what I got to deal with. <laughs> She's a really good kitty, and I missed her really bad. So I'm glad to be back. And uh, I got to thank my bandmates, Luke on drums, Ian on guitar, and Trevor on bass. And uh, if you get a chance, look up Surf Zombies. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is, over the weekend, I tried not to embarrass us, but, you know... I'm kind of a stumbling moron most of the time, but somehow I managed to keep moving forward. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm liable to trip and just fall at any time and fall flat on my face. But uh, I just pick myself up and keep going. And, uh, you know, that's part of the game is not giving up. So I just want to motivate you guys to stay in there, keep practicing, and uh, enjoy your guitars. Thanks so much.